Hi there. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alana, and I'm the creator of the Health Analytic Insights Podcast, where I interview guests and talk all things health informatics. So in this video, I want to give some advice on how you can start your career in health informatics, what are some common skills that are often used in the profession, and what does a typical day in the life look like for someone in the health informatics field or someone who works as a healthcare data analyst. So I remember when I was trying to figure out what my career was going to be, there was little to no advice from the career counseling in my school, and they only gave really generic advice that would work for traditional careers. So in this video, I really want to give some tangible skills that I've seen often emphasized in health informatic job postings and as well as a typical day in the life. So there are some common skills that you see over and over again in these job postings. And the first one is a relevant clinical degree or experience. And this can look like someone who already works as a nurse or a pharmacy technician and is considering transitioning into a health informatic profession. It can look, at, look like someone who's graduated from their master's in health informatics or biomedical engineering. It's really important that you have some understanding of clinical terminology and can interact with clinicians in your job. Another skill that's often posted in these health informatics roles is experience with data visualization tools. And this is really key because oftentimes you'll need to be able to synthesize large amounts of information into charts and graphs to be able to better explain your analysis to a wide audience that might have a varying background. And experience with data visualization tools is not just in the health informatic profession alone. If you're really interested in this analytical space, being well-versed in a data visualization tool such as Power BI, Tableau, or Click is key. So if you're looking to upskill your data visualization skills, not just you know basic Excel, but even going further with a tool like Power BI or Tableau, you're able to download Power BI Desktop for free if you either go to the Microsoft Store or if you go to powerbidesktop.com, you can download it for free. And you can play around with some of the functionality of the tool and get a better understanding downloading an open source data set and then playing around with the functionality in Power BI. You also have the ability to learn more about Power BI because Microsoft Learn has different pathways and modules where you can learn about Power BI for free. So I definitely suggest checking out Power BI Desktop if you're looking to upskill some of your data visualization skills. Another common skill that's used in the health informatic profession is experience with writing SQL queries and SQL stands for structured query language. You can imagine in this field, there's so many different types of data sources. So you might have data coming in from the lab, test results, you might have data from the hospital. So there are just some common hospital metrics such as patient length of stay, and this is usually defined as the, the time that the patient was first admitted to the time they were discharged. And so that's just one of the metrics that can come from the hospital. And then you also have just financial information, so medical claims, and also just general demographic information. So a lot of this data um, can be stored in something called a data warehouse, which can be defined as a system which contains historical data from many different data sources and so with the health informatic profession it can be very interesting to work in this field because you're working with so many different types of data and being able to synthesize through all these data sources you often use a programming language called sql and then finally strong communication skills is one of the common skills advertised in these postings so again, being able to present your findings to clinicians and other people on your team is really important to ensure that whatever you're building and creating will actually be of value. So now let's go into the 
typical day in the life of a healthcare data analyst or someone who works in the health informatic profession. So imagine your boss wants you to create some analysis around identifying diabetic patients who are at risk of readmission back to hospital so that you can pass this information on to community nurses to follow up with these patients after they are discharged from care. And patient readmission rates might be a common metric that hospitals track because patient readmission back to hospital can be very costly. For instance, the Canadian Institute for Health Information has estimated that patient readmission rates has cost an estimate $2.1 billion in the year 2018. And not only can it be costly to hospitals, it can often result in negative future adverse effects for patients. So if you get this problem from your boss, you might think the first step is to just dive into the data and do your analysis. But the first step would truly be to have conversation with clinicians. So get an understanding and a foundation of the problem. You want to interact with people who are there on the ground lines on a day-to-day -day basis, really getting a sense of the problem. And so you might wanna ask the community nurses, have conversations with them, ask them, do they notice that patients who tend to be at risk for readmission are they on several types of medication? Do you notice it tends to be older patients who are being readmitted back to hospital? Is it patients who generally have a longer length of stay? These are all questions that you wanna ask the clinician to get a better sense of what the real issue might be. And so when I talked about you know having a relevant clinical degree or experience, that's when it really comes into play because you can really frame your questions in a clinical lens so the next step you might want to do once you've had those conversations with clinicians is now, once you have your understanding, now diving into the problem and doing some analysis. And so you want to look at the sources of data that you might have available to you. So you might have one source of data that has one data set or table that has the patient demographic information. So you might have their patient age. And then you might have another table that has how long the patient was in hospital. And so what you wanna do is join these two tables together and concatenate the matching rows into one large table so you can do your analysis and ask questions of your data more easily. And so you'd use a join clause by writing SQL queries, uh, which will combine rows from two or more tables. And so once you've done a deep dive into your data sources, you've asked the relevant questions of your data, you've asked what clinicians the relevant qu questions from your data, you can now synthesize all this raw data into actionable information. And you can do this by creating charts and graphs. You, again, you can use a, a tool like Excel, but if you wanna do more advanced filtering and make it more interactive for the end user, you can use more advanced data visualization tools such as Tableau, Click, or Power BI. And then finally, once you've done all that, you want to present your findings to your boss, to the community nurses, and to whoever else would find this analysis relevant. So there you go. That's an overview of some of the skills and a typical day in the life it might look like for someone in this field. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at Health Analytic Insights at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out the podcast where I talk all about getting into health informatics and I also interview experts in the field and they pass on their very valuable tips as well. So you can listen to the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks and have a wonderful day.